Hey everyone, Jason from Grip Tape here again to continue our series on how to use the Grip Tape nodes inside Comfy UI. In our last video, we talked about one of the abilities that we have when we create agents, which is to add tools to it. In this video, we are going to look at rule sets. Rule sets are really handy features in the Grip Tape framework that allow you to define personality or certain behaviors for an agent. It can be uh, defining the output style of an agent. It can be defining the way the agent responds to text. It can be rules about how the agent should behave when given certain information, like always look in this knowledge base to get data back, things like that. To demonstrate how they work, we're gonna show you some responses from the agent when they have rule sets and when they don't. Here you can see we've created an agent and it has no rule sets coming in. I introduce myself and I say, hi, I'm Jason, introduce yourself to me. When I run the prompt, it comes back with, hello, Jason, I'm an AI language model created by OpenAI here to help you, etc." Pretty standard stuff. Let's go ahead and create a rule set to define how we want the agent to behave. If I click with the right mouse button and I go to grip tape uh, agent helpers, you'll see there is grip tape create rules. We'll go ahead and do that. You can see here the rules that are created. If I take the rules and I connect them, this agent will now use these rules when it runs. It does have a couple of default rules. It's got one rule, which is always be kind and friendly, and another one which says keep responses brief but not curt. If we go ahead and run this right now, it will say, Hi Jason, I'm here to help you with any questions or information you need. How can I assist you today? Notice it was a little bit shorter. That's because of the keep responses brief but not curt. So let's say this, be long-winded and funny. And here we go. Well, hello there, Jason. It's an absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm your friendly neighborhood assistant here to sprinkle a bit of magic into your day and help you with whatever you need. Cross between a wise old sage, stand-up comedian, and Swiss army knife minus the sharp edges, of course. So you can see here, it's still being helpful and it's being kind, and it is also being long-winded and funny. The nice thing about the rules is you can really make them be whatever you want. For example, we can say, behave like an alien. You only, only speak in emoji and sounds. Let's see what it does here. And we get bleep bloop, I am Zorg from the planet Xylotron bleep bleep. Okay, there we go. So like I said, you can kind of make these be anything you want. One of the important things here to recognize is that every new line acts like a new rule. So if you want just a single rule, then you would say like, this is a single rule that you will adhere to. It's probably not gonna know what to do with that, but it'll just respond. I'm here to assist you, etc. This is a second rule, and here's a third. So you can basically just keep adding more and more lines like that. Let's show an example of maybe controlling the type of output you could get. So always respond in YAML format. Let's see what it does with that. Introduction, name, assistant, description, I am an AI. So as you can see, you have a lot of control with this, which is really nice. One of the things that I like to do is use it to help define how agents are going to do other things like, for example, create images. Now we haven't gotten into the image creation side of things yet, but this is a really great example of how to use rules to craft things. Let's start with the fresh workspace. So I've cleared that. So we'll start first by just doing a grip tape image, create image from text. So this is a new node you haven't seen yet. Basically what it does is it creates an image by based off of whatever text you put in. So just like before, when I wanted to display the output from an agent that was text, I could also do the same thing with an image where I go to grip tape images, display image, take the output from that. And if we type in a prompt here, like uh, create an apple and run this, we'll get the image of an apple. So I created an apple and I can display the apple. So just like with regular agents, when you want to display the text, you use the display text node to display images and use the display image node. Now let's say we want to give the image creation a little bit more flair. Like this is kind of, you know, who knows what it's going to be. If I create an apple, create a sock, you can see the style of the sock is different from what the apple was. There's no real control being had here other than what you type into this prompt. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an agent that is going to generate a prompt for creating the image. And we're gonna give that agent some rules about how to go about creating the prompt, some rules about what kind of prompt to create. So we go to add node, grip tape, agent, create the agent. So we'll do that right here. 
And what we'll also do, actually, let me rearrange these. So we'll put the image generation here right above this because we're going to end up leaving this blank. We're going to be feeding the string from the agent itself into the input string and it will run. We've got our agent here. We'll drive that in there. We're going to take the output in here. And right now, if I say create an image generation prompt for a pencil, like that, and cue this, so you'll see it created a pencil. Now, if we want to see what that prompt is, we can, of course, just do the crypt tape text display text node. We can take the output and feed that in there and just feed the output in this way. So there we go. You can see it says, create a detailed pencil sketch of a classic wooden pencil laying on a desk. The pencil should have a slightly worn eraser and visible wood grain. All of this stuff is just hallucinated by the agent trying to figure out what it is that you want. So what we want to do is be able to create some consistency and some specific styles for how the agent is going to request an image is generated. And we'll do that using rule sets. So again, we go to grip tape, agent helpers, create rules. And these rules are going to be very specific for how we want to generate images. So I'm going to call this my image generation rules. And we're going to say, you are an expert in creating image generation prompts that look high, that create images that are high quality and extremely beautiful. Always include the following information in the prompt, composition, lighting, design, style, lens information, camera angle, time of day, detailed description of the, of the character and emotion. There we go. And so we have those rules. I'm going to put those into the rule sets. Let's reorder this just so it's a little bit clearer what's coming before what. All right. So we've got the rules, which then go into the agent that we'll be able to see what that text is. That's going to be driven into the create image from text, and then we will get our final output. So let's say, create a pencil. And now you can see we're getting much better information in our prompt. So we get composition, we get lighting information, we get design style, lens information, camera angle, time of day, and a detailed description of the character and, and emotion. And you can see the result that we get is really nice. So even given like a very basic prompt, because we've been giving it these rules, we're going to get an excellent image coming out of it. Let's add another example. Your images are for a 1990s style zine cover. Let's see what that gives us. So here you can see we're getting something that's really interesting. A nice composition, a close up of the classic yellow pencil with a pink eraser. Um, we get the lighting information, the design style, lens information, all sorts of great stuff in here, including the time of day, detailed description, all of this. That feeds into the prompt and we get a much more interesting image. Let's try another one here. We'll say uh, winning catch in an ultimate frisbee competition at a top university. So here we go. You can see now we've got this ultimate frisbee competition. It feels a bit grungy. Um, so as you can see, rules and rule sets are extremely powerful for being able to control the way that your agents behave. And in the next video, we will dive more into this uh, grip tape create image from text node. And we'll talk about how you can use different models for creating images by modifying the agent and the driver. Have a great day.